What is up, YouTube and the Monster Club? It is yours truly, the life of the party, the young go-hard and the king of the club kids. You already know this is the party monster and on this channel, the party never ends. So today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Today, I'm actually going to be showing you guys who I'm going to be doing a week-long review on. Well, performance review, I should say. The KD tens in the triple black colorway. The whole purpose before getting this shoe is the fact that my current work shoe is so beat and so dangerous in the fact that I slip all the time and I work in a restaurant, so that's definitely not the best look. So I had to switch up my shoe game a little bit and unfortunately with dress code and everything, I have to have a solid black shoe. Otherwise I would probably just wear Vans at work all day. So I found these at Plato's Closet for $20, picked them up. They're a size 10, typically I'm a size nine and a half, but the way the KD 10s are built, I was able to get away with it. So I'm gonna actually be doing a performance review on these. So as I'm recording this video, it's Friday. When I give you guys my final verdict, it's gonna be the following Friday. So I'm gonna tell you guys how I feel. Like I actually work four out of seven days. So I'm definitely gonna put some miles on these shoes in the next couple of days and everything. So should be an interesting experiment. Okay guys, so to give you a quick review on the KD-10 Triple Blacks, as you guys can see, the shoe is all black. It features a fly knit upper all around the shoe, right here, and you have your leather Nike swoosh that goes around the shoe. You have KD on the back, your visible air unit, and your all black sole. Definitely a dope shoe. I don't think I would have paid retail for it, because I don't like having to wear a primary black shoe when I don't have to. Like this is definitely only for work purposes, but I definitely think the 10 is definitely one of the better KD models. My favorite is definitely the seven. I love like the strap they have on the side. Like that's really dope. And it's had some of the best colorways. Oh, they have the same colors as the other models, but the Aunt Pearls and the seven is probably the dopest KD shoe I've ever seen. Still gotta get one of those, but the other thing I really like about this is it kind of reminds me of the Yeezy with the tongue and how it sticks up like that. I think that's probably what really drew my attention to this shoe. Like, I think it's a dope model. I just don't really mess with this colorway too much. But other than that, you also have your visible air unit, which is kind of tough because the shoe's black. But this is definitely a solid clear. It was clean, but as I said earlier, these are definitely used and... It is what it is. These retailed for $150, I believe, but I got them for $20. Definitely a little bit scuffed up, but I definitely think I can work with them, and I got them for work, so at the end of the day, it's not that big a deal. This is definitely the work shoes. It's definitely the, I gotta go run out the house to do errand shoe, like, and I'm just pretty stoked to have these. I mean, we're gonna have to wear an all-black shoe at work. Might as well wear a dope one, so here they are. Okay, guys, so I have them on, and... So far, so good. I'm hearing like a really weird. I feel like, I don't know how to describe it. Like when air comes out of a tire or a balloon like that, escaping, like sound. But, I don't know, as long as I don't slip, it's all good. Okay guys, so after really putting these shoes to work, I mean, I went to town on this shoe. I wore it to work, I wore it casually i even wore it to the gym every workout and i gotta say it's kind of sort of unfair to rate its performance because of the fact that these were used prior to me buying them and literally the moment i took my first step i got this annoying ass deflating sound and yeah even now especially when these get wet you really hear it loud and clear but Overall, for the purposes that I needed to do, like I just working and me not tripping, and they do perfectly fine. These are great. Granted, I only paid twenty dollars for these, but I would love to actually do a full performance review on a brand new pair of these. But for just wearing these a week, I gotta say they're super comfortable. Again, my only real drawback was that annoying ass sound. And granted, I did try these on in the store and they were fine in the store, but the moment, and I kid you not, the very moment I took one step in these, I started hearing that deflating sound. 
Ugh, it gets so annoying, but that's the only drawback to this shoe. Otherwise, it's a great shoe. It's all black. I can wear it to work, and I know it even can handle the pressure of me working out every day. So, kudos to the shoe on that one. Okay, guys, that's gonna do it for this performance review. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys want a pair of these? How do you feel about them? I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. But anyway. Definitely share this video with a friend, and if you guys feel the vibe, you guys can hit subscribe. You guys can follow me on Twitter, at PartyMonster1, and on Instagram, at PartyMonster05. And until next, remember, party on. Peace.